joined by writer and co-writer. How are you guys? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Simon Wells. That's my brother's name, actually. Good night. <laughs> Simon, not very common. <laughs> and Ms. Wendy, how are you? Very well, thank you. This film is about family, mm. and it's a family which created it. Yes. Tell me a bit about that. How was it working together? Oh, we've been working together for... Ever. 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 <laughs> We've been married forever. We had to start writing just because we ran out of things to argue about. <laughs> so, and, and then, you know, not only did we write it together, we actually cast our children in the movie as well. An act of rampant nepotism. <laughs> but actually, in fairness, our kids are good actors, so um, they're, they are hatchlings in the movie. That. Did they enjoy it? Oh, they had a great yes. time. Yes, yeah. they did. Even though I, I, I'd say, you know, I'm not dad, I'm the director, you address me as Simon. Did you that know. work? Yeah. 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 They're, they're very professional. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. I was pretty impressed. Well, tell me how this movie got started, because it's about broccoli and a kid who didn't want to eat his broccoli. You didn't eat your broccoli. No broccoli, no TV. Yeah, this was an argument that um, uh, Berkeley Brethard's wife and son had. And then Berkeley had to try and get in there and source it out. And as an example of, you know, how much you value your mom, he said, what if she got abducted? by aliens and then suddenly thought wow that would be a really yeah, good book wait a minute. <laughs> so he wrote the book and it has this this tremendously powerful um, kind of message that's inside it that you know your mum really really loves you all that ordering about making you eat that broccoli it's it's truly it's for your own good and mm -hmm. it's because she loves you is there any characteristic that either of you remember of your mom that you think that these aliens might want to have oh i think that the aliens need to learn um um, you've got to encourage your children. You've got to love them and encourage them, but also you have to teach them what's right and what's wrong. Your, your job as a parent is to guide your children. You're not there to just be their best friend. You have, to, you have to actually give them guidelines. And do you think that your kids know that about you guys? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They have guidelines. <laughs> they have very, very strong guidelines. Do they really? <laughs> no, we spoil them. They don't have to do the chores, none of that. No, huh? they, they, Actually, do, they do do their chores. They do a lot of chores, though, do they? Yeah. We'll do something yeah. about that. Yeah, all right. I, I never really did chores or anything, and I think I turned out okay, yeah. Mom. <laughs> but why should people see this film? What's the underlying message? Why should they come out? Actually, people should see the film because it's a really fun action adventure yes. film. It's yeah. for the whole uh, family. Yeah, it it's is. not a thing that you're going to be like taking your kids to and going, wow, when's this going to be over? <laughs> it's actually just, it's an enjoyable film. We wrote the film for ourselves primarily, <laughs> and then we kind of slipped in this, this little kind of message in underneath. It's not a message movie, it's, it's, a, it's an adventure movie. But the message is beautiful, and it well, does you. make you think about mom. I got out of the theater, and I called my mom immediately, oh. and I said, I love you, mom. Hope you're having a great day. And that was it. <laughs> so it was a great movie. You guys did an excellent job. Thank you, well, thank so you very much. much. Thank <laughs> you.